everyone. It has been quite a while since I have filmed any videos and I just was kind of in the mood to do a video today so I thought I would do a get ready with me video and I don't know just kind of like do my makeup and stuff so if you guys are interested please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to use is my Boots Number no. 7 Highlights Illuminating Lotion. This one's like almost completely gone and I really like this. I think I might rebuy this um, but I've kind of got like a lot of things in my makeup collection I'm trying to kind of um, like really make an effort to use up a lot of my makeup products just because I've got like more than anyone could ever need so I feel really good about like using up products all the way and this is like really really nice so I'm just gonna apply this all over my face I love this just because it gives my skin um, a bit of like a really subtle kind of glow um, because I have such dark skin, it just, it always looks really dull and lifeless. So this, I just love to either mix in with foundation or apply it straight to my face. I feel so, like, awkward because I haven't filmed a video in, like, what, it's been probably about, like, four or five months since I've been regularly posting. I did kind of, like, a couple videos here and there. But it just, I don't know, I've just felt very, like, uninspired with... YouTube lately and like making videos it's just been so much work because like last year I really kind of put all of my like effort into my YouTube channel trying to like make it better and do better quality and stuff and I don't know it just didn't really happen for me so I just couldn't really keep putting as much time and effort that I was putting into my YouTube channel. So for my foundation, I'm going to use the 3CE Pink Boutique Cream Full Foundation. I showed this in one of my um, last Korean beauty hauls quite a while ago, but um, I've been using like a whole bunch of different things lately, so this is just what I'm going to be using today. And then I just put like one tiny drop of rose hip oil into the foundation just to kind of like make it a little bit more moisturizing because that's a tip that I really love doing with foundations that tend to um, kind of like get really dry and cracky on me like throughout the day is if I put it like one tiny drop of oil into it which sounds really counterintuitive I just find that it makes my foundation look less dry and cakey and stuff like that throughout the day and then I'm just gonna blend it all with my oval makeup brush but like I was saying I was just very uninspired um, with making videos it was just so much work because for about a year straight it was like just under a year I was posting three videos a week and it was just taking so much effort which I love doing but I don't know just in the end the effort wasn't really worth it I think just because um, I don't know it's just YouTube's just such a oversaturated platform in general and of course it'll always like just be a fun hobby for me and stuff like that but it's just a little disheartening whenever you put so much time and effort and money into something and you don't really I don't know get a whole lot of response from it or you know stuff like that so I just got like foundation all in my all in my hair but that's okay and I never intended to like just stop making YouTube videos it was never like just this decision that I was like, oh, I don't want to do YouTube anymore because I don't think it'll ever really come to that for me. I definitely kind of will sometimes go on these, um, what's the word, like like a mini hiatus where I just don't want to post videos. And that's kind of like been where I've been at for the past few months. And I never really, like I said, intended to just like stop making videos. It just kind of happened. I think what really was what happened was just you stop making time for the things you like and then you slowly like fill that time with other activities or other responsibilities or just any other thing in general and so that's kind of what I did I just kind of took my time and invested it into other things I've really missed making videos I just felt very like creatively blocked just nothing really I don't know felt interesting and to be honest I kind of felt like I had just with makeup in general had kind of come to like a what's the word like a block I just didn't really feel that interested in wearing makeup a whole lot and I've kind of like started getting back into wearing makeup like pretty much the entire month of like August and September I probably wore makeup less than like 10 times it was just weird because I've always loved makeup and I think I always will but there was just something about 
something so superficial as makeup that I just wasn't interested in anymore. But I feel like I'm getting back into it, which is great because makeup's like always one of my most favorite things in the world, so. So I just set my foundation with my e.l.f. HD setting powder, and now I'm gonna move on to contour. So I think I'm gonna use my Pretty Vulgar Bronzer. I have been using this pretty much nonstop since I bought it in maybe May. Um, it's not my favorite bronzer, to be honest, but I just, it was expensive and I never returned it, and I'm gonna use it, so probably something I wouldn't repurchase. I don't know why this is turning into like a <laughs> products I would repurchase kind of video. Maybe because I feel like I might film in empties after this. Um, Cause like I've been like saving all my like used up products and stuff since I haven't like really made much videos in the past like four months, five months. So like my empties pile is like completely starting to overflow. So I'll probably make that video next. I think that's kind of what will help me get back into doing videos because I do love making them. It's just like I said, when only like 10 people <laughs> see a video, it's just kind of like, I put at least like three hours of effort minimally into like each video. So it's just a little, I don't know, frustrating when you kind of like put all this effort into something and no one sees it. But yeah, so I have like tons of empty products just piling up that I need to make a video about. So for my blush, I'm using the e.l.f. Mineral Blush in the color Sweet Retreat. This one, I'm determined to like use it up. I've had this for years and it's like, I smashed it and I like repressed it and it turned out like perfect. Sometimes when you repress makeup, it can just like not be, you know, the way it was. But this, it just turned out, I pressed it so well. I'm honestly impressed with myself so so I'm really like I want to just use up a lot of these makeup products that I have just because I have so many and I don't want to be wasteful and I love watching people do um, like empties or not empties um, decluttering videos those I love watching there's just something so therapeutic about it but it also what's it's such like a weird thing because I don't want to like declutter my stuff myself just because I feel like it's wasteful, but then it's also wasteful to keep the stuff. I don't know, it's like, I don't know, it's this weird dilemma. I definitely love watching people declutter stuff, but like actually doing it myself kind of gives me anxiety. Cause I'm always thinking like, oh, well what if I wanted that bright blue liquid eyeliner and then I don't have it anymore. Then, you know, it's just things like that, which is kind of like a hoarder's mentality of like holding on to things. But so next I'm going to use this um, highlight kit that I got from this website. I think I might do a video on it maybe coming up in the next few weeks or so. Um, but this is called the Glowing Palette Shimmering Shimmers Kit from Oakalon or Oakalon. Um, it looks like this. It's kind of like one of those knockoff kind of products um, like the Anastasia glow kits or whatever they're called. The one I'm gonna be using is called Magic Heaven. Um, it surprisingly looks a little gray and silver in the pan, but I'm actually surprised at the, how much I like it on my cheeks and it's super, super pigmented. Like I just have to barely tap into it and it will give you like this super glowy look. So yeah, this one is definitely an interesting highlighter. I bought a lot of stuff from that website and I think I'll make a video talking about them soon. So next I'm going to use my Pearl Essence Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist to set my makeup. Not really set it because it's not really a makeup setting spray, but get rid of that powdery look. And it smells so good. Oh my god, I love this. I definitely want to buy more of this. This was like $8 from TJ Maxx. Definitely want to get more of it. It's huge. It's eight fluid ounces. So next I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion. It's like almost gone. I have it like with a binder clip on it to squeeze the product out and I swear I have had that for like years. So for my eyes I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I have a whole bunch of these palettes again from that same website um, that are like knockoff palettes. I'm just going to kind of wing it. So the first thing I'm going to use, this is my um, Maybelline color tattoo um, in the color tough as taupe. I haven't used this in a while, but I really like it and Actually a quick tip that I figured out. I've done this with like so many products and it works so well um, I've had this for quite a while and sometimes with cream products. They definitely tend to dry out um, relatively quickly especially if they have not been used in a while which was the case with this one, but I swear to God like 
this rosehip oil is just like the perfect thing. I use this on my face. You can put it on like your nails, um, on your cuticles. You could probably put it in your hair if you wanted to. Um, but one thing that I started using it for was using it to kind of like re-wet any kind of like cream products I've had that dried out because I'm always like trying to find new ways to like use products and I don't like just throwing things out even if it's like super inexpensive type products or you know I just don't like wasting a product if I can you know fix it so what I like to do is I will take like a couple drops of the rosehip oil and I will put it into here so then what I end up doing is just mixing it all together and it will like resaturate the product but you do kind of have to wait like 24 hours for it to like kind of sink in and get soft again so that's kind of one downfall of that little trick is that you can't necessarily use the product right away but if you know you want to use that color like the next day it's a really good tip so I've done that with a lot of cream products and it like revives them so now that I've laid that base I'm gonna just take a cool matte brown um, eyeshadow and I'm gonna put that in the crease and it doesn't have to all be perfect yet because we're gonna have to blend all this and like layer different shadows and stuff so another thing I was a little bummed about this year was that I didn't end up doing any Halloween videos which I had so much fun with doing last year um, it was just I really love like thrift shopping and finding costumes and stuff so you know last year's Halloween was so fun making those videos but you know like I said I was just kind of in a rut this year um, when it came to Halloween stuff and there were so many things I wanted to do but just just didn't end up doing it so and usually for Halloween I end up like not even ever really doing anything like I'll just dress up and like sit at home and do nothing um, but this year I actually went out with some friends that I had not seen in quite a while they had like a little party and stuff and then we went to some bars and stuff which I like never ever do I'm like the most boring socially awkward person ever so it's like a little bit out of my comfort zone and stuff because just I never go to bars and stuff and it's just not really my thing I don't really drink much we ended up like staying out till like 2 a.m. till when all the bars close which like they close really early here I feel like that's super early for a bar to close next one is the shimmery metallic uh, kind of taupey silver color and I'm gonna apply this to my lid um, but yeah we ended up um, just having fun going to bars and drinking and stuff like that and then um, we ended up feeling like not driving back so it was like an hour away from where I live so it just crashed on friend's couch it's kind of funny though because I didn't um, anticipate staying the night so I literally just like had my Halloween costume on which um, oh I was Cher from Clueless for Halloween so that was what my costume was it kind of like all came together like last minute it was kind of like my friend had asked me if I wanted to go to this like Halloween party I don't know four days before and so I was like oh okay well I guess I need to find a costume it actually turned out really cute I don't have a picture of me in the whole costume or anything which I feel like it's so stupid of me why didn't I at least take a picture I just kind of like forgot <laughs> but I'll insert um, one picture that I had of it here it was really cute um, I actually ended up like buying the cardigan uh, for my outfit like the night before <laughs> I had actually bought like two different cardigans to like try to match it to the color of my skirt but there was nothing that matched exactly so I just kind of had to like go with it but overall it was really cute I think for a last minute costume, it was like the best I could have done. <laughs> oh, and so like I was saying, all I had was my Halloween costume and um, ended up going to like brunch the next morning, <laughs> but I didn't have anything to change into. So I literally like just wore my Halloween costume uh, to brunch. I felt like I of really like self-conscious, but luckily my costume was like normal enough to wear like I don't know I don't think it necessarily looked like a costume costume that was like the first time I had slept in my makeup in like oh I don't know at least like a year or two so oh another thing um, I cut my hair you probably won't be able to see it all from here um, but I ended up cutting uh, my hair for like the first time in like two years I think uh, which is crazy my hair was so long it was literally down to like the top of my butt and just one day I was like I'm gonna cut my hair I didn't even like go to a salon I literally just cut it myself and then had like uh, my mom help me like even it out but yeah I cut over 
I think like 10 or 11 inches. I always love doing like a big chop when it comes to like cutting my hair. I love to just not cut my hair for like two years and then just cut it all off. I don't know why. Usually I'll like end up just like, you know, like calling my like hairstylist and like doing an appointment and just cut it all off. But this time I just couldn't even be bothered with it. I was just like, just, just cut it all off. But my hair, it's like, I cut so much, so like my hair feels really short now. It's still not that short. It's like, you know, past shoulder length, but it just feels so much shorter. Next, I'm gonna do my brows with my BH Cosmetics Studio Fix Brow Pomade. Um, again, I love doing that oil trick for this. This one, it's you can see it's still like a little, like extra, like wet. Um, but it's perfect if you like leave it overnight and then it will really like absorb all of that oil and soften the product. It's just so perfect. You want to be careful though to not put too much in, otherwise it can like water down the product, but it's just such a good tip. I just was like messing around one day and I was like, oh my brow pomade's like super dry, but it's like still full because this stuff lasts forever. And I was like, I don't want to throw it out and buy a new one. So I just put a little bit of oil in it and I was like amazed at how perfect it came out. The other thing about cutting my hair is like, I always feel like a lot of people like will cut their hair a lot and then they regret it. I never regret like cutting off all my hair. Like, I mean, granted it's not like going from like Rapunzel to like a pixie cut, but still like 11 inches is like a lot of hair. So I always just feel so like, I don't know, lighter and like refreshed when I like cut my hair off. But I never really regret it. The only thing I don't like though is that I feel like whenever I have shorter hair, since I have naturally like wavy curly hair, I have to either straighten it more or just style it in general. So now I'm just gonna do my lips. I'm just gonna line them with the Urban Decay 24-7 Pencil in Native and the matching lipstick. So that's pretty much all that I am doing. So that's pretty much it for my get ready with me. Here you can kind of see a little bit of my hair. It's like still not short at all, but um, for me, it's definitely short. Cause like I mentioned, it was to my butt for the past two years. Um, but my hair is like really <laughs> greasy. I need to like do my roots and uh, wash my hair. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for, I guess like where I've been for the past like five months. Um, I will try to like get back into the swing of things and like make more videos because I do miss doing it so much. So to the five people that will see this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.